All right, so you may or may not know, but it's going to be hill climb season, so there's a lot of short hill climbs in the UK uh, in September, October. So I want to save some weight on my bike. I want to make riding my bike simple when I'm going uphill. So I've decided to change to one by. Um, so instead of having two chain rings at the front, so at the moment I have a 52 and a 36, um, I'm going to be changing to a one by. So anyway, I decided that I wanted to basically figure out what gears I was going to have. So at the moment, my lowest gear is the 36-32. So at 80 cadence, it gives me 11.45 um, kilometers an hour. Um, and I basically think this is too small. So if I run a 36 one by, then I'll be, I won't have enough speed at the other end. So if we have a 30, sorry, I forgot to put a 36 on this. Uh, if we have a 36 here, you'll see it at 100 cadence, 41 kilometers an hour. And you might be like, mate, you're in a hill climb. Like, why do you think you're gonna 41? But some of these hill climbs are like 6% average gradients. You're sprinting to the line and like might be not exactly 6% at that point. You're going to hit high speeds. So I think we're going to rule out the 36. So it basically then depends. Are we going to do a 38 or a 4 to 40 or 42? So those are the options I can get. A 38 is hard to get. But anyway, we might be able to source one. So I think the main thing for me, I guess, is just the minimum speed. So going from a 36 to a 40 is quite a big difference. Um, it's basically like a 40-32 gives me 11 kilometers an hour at 70 cadence. So I mean, on these hill climbs, naturally your cadence is quite a lot lower than it would be on a longer effort. So let's say you're doing a 20 minute effort, you're not gonna be pedaling at 70 cadence, really, unless you're out the saddle for quick mats. But on these like two, three minute efforts, the national championships is about a two to three minute effort, you're gonna be going 70 cadence, you're gonna be doing it because you're just gonna be hop keeping in the same gear and just surging as much as possible. Um, so I guess the thing for me is like a 42 I think is just too big because 11.62 kilometers an hour at 70 cadence. So I think we can definitely get rid of the 42 um, on this one. And then if we look at the other end, like 100 cadence, 48 kilometers an hour, I don't think I'm gonna be going 48 kilometers an hour. So I think that's all right. So I think we can get rid of a 42 pretty safely and then we'll also get rid of the 36. So it basically just depends, are we gonna go for a 40 or a 38? And I'm, I am quite confused about this to be honest because I just don't know. Um, without riding it and without riding the climbs, it's really hard to know. So it's basically half a kilometer an hour difference, more or less, at 70 cadence. At 60 cadence, again, it's about a half. So I just don't know. And this is the thing that I sort of want I guess I'll have to think about it and look at the Strava data. Um, maybe if I can see, um, this is the National Hill Climb Championship, so maybe I could, maybe I should base it on this and see, um, so this guy averaged 20.6, so like, to be honest, you're not really gonna be needing small gears on this. I mean like, the other thing is I don't know which hill climbs I'm gonna do. So on this, I mean if we see, um, on his effort here, the minimum speed he hit was like 10, 11 K an hour, but on such a short, so, so short. So it's like at 12 K an hour, I'd still be going, um, sorry, at 12 K an hour, I'd still be at like 80 cadence. So you think that's fine. That's like that, that would be fine for both of them. So for the national hill climb championship, it's not going to be a problem, but the problem is the other ones like that might be 25% and I'll be in the 40, 32, just being like, I wish I had a smaller gear. And then on the other end, the difference is, it's three Ks an hour. And I just don't know. Um, maybe I think I'm gonna go for the 40. I think that, it just makes more sense to me because it's like at 90 cadence, 41 kilometers an hour, that sounds good. Like I'm not, shouldn't be going much more than that on a hill climb. I mean, again, there are downhills and hill climbs, but for, to be honest, I don't think I'm gonna need much more than that. So I think a 40 is definitely makes sense. And it's just the smaller side. It's going to be really hard to choose. I think I'm going to go 40 though because it's easier to find. Um, I might be hating life. I might really be hating life and just crying because I'll just have too big a gear. But even at 60 k and it's nine, nine and a half kilometers an hour. I mean, I don't know. I don't normally go much below eight or nine kilometers an hour. But I guess you don't know. Um, I mean, I just, I'm just going to compare it to a 36 and just because I think in Adelaide I was doing a lot of steep climbs, so I'm gonna look at a 36.28 here. So 36.28, a 60 cadence is 9.8, and a 42, 40.32 is 9.5, yeah, I think that's fine then, because it's, okay, it's not the same, 
but it's it's similar the thirty six twenty eight to the forty thirty two, and I think for me the thirty six twenty eight was pretty good. Like in Adelaide, a lot of those steep climbs, yeah, I could have had a lower gear, but there weren't many when I really needed a lower gear. Like some of them, maybe it would have helped a little bit, but I don't know. The other thing with hill climbs is you just go so much harder than normal, so it's really hard to think. Like it's not like training. Like on these short ones, like you're doing like you know well over seven watts per kilo, almost eight watts per kilo at some points those three minute efforts and it's like you fly up climbs you really do so um i think yeah that's it i've decided I'm gonna go for the 40 32 so the 40 on the front 11 32 on the back and i think this is the chain ring i'm gonna get it's called the garbarook and um i'm not sure if it's gonna be 100 this chain ring but my old mate ronnie cuba he did a video and he said these ones fit on the chain rings so you don't need i don't know what color we're gonna get but basically what happens is you don't need to cut anything. They fit perfectly on um, the chain ring of the bike. So you, I think maybe you might need slightly different um, bolts. But apart from that, it should all be good. So anyway, cheers for watching. Hope this is informative if you're going for a one by system or you're doing the hill climb season. Um, I think I should save approximately 400 grams on this. Which, you know, not to be sniffed at, but more important for me is that I won't have to decide if I want to be in big or small. Because 5236, sometimes it's like... You want to be big, but then you want to be small, and you just don't really know. Um, but anyway, hopefully this will this will be my solution. I'm not sure when I'm going to do it. Probably beginning of September I'll do it. It will be annoying. I won't be able to race crits or anything because I have a 40. But for hill climbs, it will be chill. And for general riding, it should be okay as well. So anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you enjoy, and I will see you in the next video.